soy religioso, ni ninguno de nosotros somos religiosos. Tenemos un, una serie, una, un sal que dice Iglesia de Dios, porque es un concilio que estamos abajo, pero nosotros no somos religiosos. Yo dejé de ser el nombre pentecostal hace muchos años atrás, aunque soy pentecostal por actitud, ¿cuánto entiende? Mi actitud es pentecostal, a mí me encanta el fuego del Espíritu Santo, a mí me encanta el poder del Espíritu Santo en mi vida, a mí me encanta el poder del Espíritu Santo en la iglesia, a mí me encanta cuando Dios hace milagros y prodigio, a mí me encanta esa cosa, que es el poder en la actitud pentecostal. Pero ser pentecostal, o sea que es tener una corbata y una, una camisa 24-7, aleluya, y una chaqueta para decir que somos pentecostales o que la dama tenga una falda, escúchame bien, y que se ve en una manera. personal. Es verdad, ¿te gustaría que por la mañanita tú sintieras la voz de Dios decir, es verdad, quiero hablar contigo? Mm. O oh, Ángela, levántate, quiero hablar contigo. Porque yo te quiero decir que cuando Dios no habla, no habla para darnos buenas noticias. Sea negativas o sea positivas, sea, si Dios te dice no vayas, como dijo a nuestra hermana Mori, es un ¿Cuánto entiende? A veces Dios dice que no, Padre, para que tú no vayas y que tenga una vida positiva, porque sabe una cosa, aunque lo creemos cuantarnos, aleluya, nuestra decisión siempre tiene un resultado. ¿Aló? ¿Amén? Yo te puedo decir historias de mujeres que han caído embarazadas para aguantar hombres. ¿Amén? ¿Amén? Y al final no aguanta nada. ¿Cuánto entiendo lo que quiero decir? Por estas cosas, usted tiene que entender que los hijos, aleluya, son bendición de Dios, aleluya, pero nosotros no podemos hacer algo para que en el futuro nos salga de la manera que nosotros queremos. ¿Sabe por qué? Yo solo, mire hermano, yo solo quiero decir, se lo quiero confesar, si fuera este servidor yo tuviera 145 libras, aleluya, y con una mata de pelo, aleluya, bendito sea tu nombre, aleluya, y no me lo recortaría para tenerlos bien en cuanto a la Dios. Si fuera este servidor, si pudiéramos, si pudiéramos decirlo así de esta manera, bendito de nuestro Dios, pero como no sabemos el futuro, ¿verdad que sí? No sabemos el futuro, no sabemos lo que nos no cuenta el día de mañana, por lo menos este día yo puedo decir, Señor, tú estás en control. Este día tú estás en control, tú estás abajo, aleluya, el dominio, yo, el dominio sea mío, aleluya, lo que yo quiero hacer está bajo tu dominio. Cuanto a a Dios. I just want you to go back. Sometimes you gotta erase history. Hello? Sometimes you have to erase history because we can stop on history. This person told me something, I'm not going back to church. Because this person said something to me, I'm not going back to church. Erase the history. Sometimes I said something that I shouldn't have said, and I know God I don't like that, so I'm not going to be. That's just the more he says, a oh, hypocrite. Praise God. But you know what? Bottom line is, we are hypocrites. And nobody here with me. So you hear me, sister? Praise God, hallelujah. Because 100% of the time, praise God, hallelujah, we go ahead and we do a little act. Praise God, hallelujah. In fact, how many churches today I have people who are just acting Christians? That's not here. That's somewhere else. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, basically, nosotros tenemos que ser realistas. We have to be a realist to God. Hallelujah. Say, God, I want to know you, who you are for real. Praise God. Yeah. It happened to me. 30 plus years in the Lord. 30 plus years in the Lord. And I had to go to a liberal church. A liberal church. A church that was liberal. And by that, mean of being a legalistic person. Being a legalistic person, meaning that you have to have, the women have to have long dresses and long hair. You know, women have to have, you know, bushy eyebrows and, you know, and all these other stuff. Praise God. And the women, am I, anybody here with me? Praise God. Hallelujah. The fact is, you know, there were people, praise God. Hallelujah. That they were saying that that's the right woman. That's the woman of God. But when I went to another church that didn't do this, that had women with earrings and women, I said, Lord, show me if you're in the house. 
And when God touched me in that church, that he, he purged me. He purged me. He actually took everything from within me and said, I'm going to change you. With suit and tie and everything. And then that same day I came back to our service that night and I looked at the people because now I'm purged, right? I'm, my, my eyes are, are clear now. Now I'm seeing something new and I saw that I was amongst the church of hypocrites. Ain't nobody here with me. That's okay. I understand. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. But you, you understand where I am, Angie? And you know what, Angie? You know and I know, praise God, that when we speak, we speak real. Praise God. And I told you what I have to tell you. Plain and simple. No is no. Yes is yes. But you like that too. You see, you come, come with that Ramirez, Ramirez angle. Am I right? And then you guys don't have hair in your tongue. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you go, blah, blah, blah. And you guys will just let it out. Am I right? Like no filter. No filter. Absolutely. Filterless. <laughs> right here. The Ramirez from uh, Manhattan. On a second. You see what I'm saying? The fact is, praise God, God is looking for realists. God is looking for people who are real. That when you see something, you know, Angie, if you ever gave yourself to the Lord the way you're supposed to, people would be afraid to talk to you. Because you would be a realist. And you would have to tell them the way, Sister Teresa, on there? Tell them the way it is. Because you know from where you came from and where God has brought you to. And no matter what happens, you see, Maureen, this is what's happening in your life. No matter what has happened and what people say, this, is, this can happen to you, you know from where God has brought you to where you are right now. You see? So it don't matter what people say. You see, la gente siempre comenta. They always say something. They always say a word. They always come and tell you. They, they get their own opinions. They always tell you, you should do this and you should do that. But if something went wrong, nobody's there. Amen.